dig deeper into DraftKings brand Canaccord's Michael Graham. Michael, great to have you with us. You cover this stock. So tell me, Michael, if I believe that uh, sports may not come back in the fall the way that we know sports, why should you be in DraftKings? You've got to buy in the stock. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. It's a great question. Um, you know, we, we like the stock because um, over the long term, we agree with some of the previous comments that you've got a, a market of, um, of, of viewers of sports in the U.S. Uh, that also uh, like to bet on sports and they just haven't had uh, a legal and easy, convenient way to do so historically. Uh, that's changing in the country now with a wave of legalization efforts uh, across the U.S. There are nine states where you know mobile sports online sports betting is is completely legal and another nine or ten where um it's you know really close to happening uh in some way shape or form and we think that you know in in several years you're going to have uh two-thirds of the country living in states where uh, online sports betting is legalized and you know as that happens we think there's going to be a lot of engagement a lot of usage americans love to watch sports and they love to bet on sports so that's really the the sort of underpinning of our of our positive stance on the stock uh, when you when you dial that back to the short term, you definitely have some sentiment uh, riding on you know if and how the sports calendar comes back. Um, obviously, the most important one here is the NFL. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, DraftKings and the markets that it's fueling can survive really well with no spectators, right? So if these sports come back uh, without spectators, that's just fine. Um, the NFL is the biggest, you know, sport uh, in, you know, betting, and um, it's going to be very important as we get into Q4 and a little bit of that into Q1 with the Super Bowl. Right. So now we've got in this interim period, you've got baseball and basketball. Um, you've got a lot of golf events coming back. So, um, you know, there definitely is some sentiment riding on these sports returning, and um, it's certainly not, not a certain thing, but it's looking, you know, fairly positive now. If, if the NFL doesn't come back, uh, does that change your your buy rating on this stock? And I'm wondering because, you know, we see a lot of these college teams try uh, to go and engage in these voluntary workouts. You know, the players get back to campus. They all have COVID tests. They all test negative. And then 14 days later, the voluntary workouts are halted because so many teammates have caught COVID by being back on campus. Yeah. Um to answer your question directly, no, it wouldn't change our, our buy rating because we take a, a one-year view, and um, we do think, you know, in general that uh, there there are certainly serious headwinds and some challenges to getting these sports competitions underway. Um, a year from now, uh, it's very likely to not be, um, you know, as bad as it is now. So we definitely think that. Um, we will get through this and, and that DraftKings business will, will get through this. Um, if we do get, you know, something dramatic like the NFL season getting canceled or postponed or curtailed, uh, I think that, you know, you would, you would likely get a better entry point into the stock at that point because there is going to be some sentiment riding on it. Um, but one of the comments earlier I think is important to keep in mind. Uh, if you want to invest in this in this theme, you don't really have that many options. Um, some of the other options are are tied up in larger companies with different businesses that maybe aren't as, as fast growing. And um, we like you know DraftKings uh, strategy, the fact that um, we think the company is in a good position to be a digital disruptor to, to to build you know products quickly and iterate on them. And importantly, with a good understanding of how to market and get new customers in the door you know, once we're there. So I do, we do see a lot of investors interested in the space and in the stock. I think if the, if there was some weakness on the sports calendar, I, I think it would probably be short-lived. That's a great rundown of what's going on in DraftKings. My question is, are there natural suitors out there for DraftKings, be it the casinos, a Disney, uh, a, you know, any number of the social media companies? Is that for me, does that come into thinking in terms of your valuation for the stock? Well, um, I, I do think there's plenty of potential for um, DraftKings to be a target for, for, some, for some bigger companies. Um, you know, one of the things that you mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, when, you, when you look at what happened on Twitter um, when they had the NFL for a little while and you saw engagement um, just going, you know, through the roof there, um, the, the, the younger generations uh, like to watch sports, but they like to watch them uh, with a mobile device in their hands and, and um, and you know, engaging with the content, which can include betting on that on the on the on the competition. 
So um, there are really good tie-ins here for big media companies that are looking to increase engagement with viewers or gain new viewers or new constituents. Um, so, so yeah, I think I think over time, you know, DraftKings could be a a takeout target. I, I do think, um, you know, the company probably can execute pretty well independently here for a little while, and I think it almost needs to be independent because, you know, this is going to be one of those areas where uh, to to win, uh, it's going to require uh, some big investments, mm -hmm. and um, you know, uh, uh, DraftKings has sort of the. The, the permission from its investor base right now to make those investments. And so I think being independent will help the company, uh, you know, do that. Michael, great to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Grant.